So we just do normal. We do quick blitz if they're up and they try to get you in the coffin corner. And then we do if you're denied. Give them the ball. Stay here. If they, come on back. So Purdue was pretty good at this. We were fortunate to beat them at Purdue. But they were pretty good at kind of jumping up and jamming us a little bit on this. And that's okay. Let them jam you. Because the rule of thumb is, as soon as your foot touches that line, you're going to reverse pivot, physically hit me and seal me, and then I'll show you what you're going to do. So I'm denying you, denying you, denying Good, good, great job. And now you're going to come back toward the ball, and now you can start to run that way a little bit, left hand, and now you're going to throw them the ball, right? Stop. So now it's the same thing. But I'm just going to show you the basics. They asked me to show you the basics. Go ahead. Come on back. Now you got the ball. Get the ball. So now you're going to advance it. The next thing you know, you're in a blitz. So you probably would have been by half court by now, maybe. Stop. And you probably would have been there. So now you got to pull back because they're blitzing you. So you got to pull back dribble. And remember, we're always playing hip through our ear, right? So what did I tell you is one of the biggest lines of delineations on the court? Midline. What else did I say? Say it again. Women's hash. So sprint to the women's hash. Now, you can say whatever you want. So let's say you pull back. Good, stop. So hip through your ear. Yep, and then you're going to open up because you're going to go, yep, there you go. So I'm here blitzing you, right? You go hip through your ear. Now you protect the ball, right? You're going to throw it to him. Now, you can bounce it to him, right, which is probably the most logical thing to do. Why? Because I'm all up in you, right? I'm all up in you. Go ahead. Good. Stop. This is huge. If you're over here, that makes this a little bit difficult. 